heard of EquiFlow? No. What is that? No worries. Let me tell you guys all about it. Although we have so many awesome productivity tools and applications nowadays, it can easily become overwhelming. And that's precisely the issue which EquiFlow is looking to fix. It literally makes me feel like I have multiple versions of myself. The idea is to create the ultimate time blocking platform by consolidating all the applications that you use and let you block time for your tasks in just one place. The integrations I've been loving so far have been checking my events and reminders from Google Calendar, my assigned development issues from Jira, and even tracking all of my important due dates that I have on Notion. Also, I really love when applications develop command palettes. Akiflow did a perfect implementation of that, so you can access all the features you need with just a few keyboard shortcuts. Another feature I've been using a lot is the availability sharing which makes scheduling meetings a breeze so you can say goodbye to the endless back and forth emails. So overall Accuflow is a great tool for anyone really who's looking to take control of their time and boost your productivity. Try it out today and see for yourself. Thank you Accuflow for being a partner on this channel. Let's get back to the video. Alright so let's just get straight into it and I'll start by showing you my development environment which I just use Visual Studio Code. And for the most part, I think I keep it pretty simple. Just have a couple extensions that help with formatting and a lot of language support ones as well. Then for the terminal, I just use the integrated terminal most of the time. I just find it more convenient to have there as opposed to opening up a separate window. So when I don't use the integrated terminal within VS Code, I use iTerm with Power Level 10K, which is a ZSH theme. I do like that it shows cool things like Git and Autocomplete on here. Another tool that I use almost daily now in VS Code is GitHub Copilot. And I had tried out the beta actually some time back, but then I was disappointed to learn that it became a paid service. But for about 10 bucks a month, I think it's pretty hard to beat. Let me show you a quick example of what you can do with GitHub Copilot. It usually just takes the context from a comment or it looks at the code you had previously written. And there you go, look at how fast it comes up with the solution. And that brings me to the next tool which I've been using so much, which is ChatGPT. If you're not familiar, it's an artificial intelligence language model that's been trained to answer all sorts of questions from tech-related topics to even personal advice. It's able to understand natural language and generate responses that sounds like they were written by human. I've been using it for so many things like writing and responding to emails, coding project setups and system design, and even smaller things like asking it for simple front-end design kind of questions. It's actually pretty amazing stuff. I even added a cool new shortcut to use the ChatGPT prompt from any of my Apple devices. Hey Siri, run ChatGPT shortcut. How to start a Next.js project using TypeScript. On it. To start a new Next.js project using TypeScript, you can follow these steps. One, create a new Next.js project. Next is Notion, which is actually one of my favorite tools at the moment. It's like an all-in-one workspace, way beyond note-taking, which lets you do so many cool things. The way I've been using Notion is to keep track of all of my development notes for meetings such as stand-ups, epic team meetings, and sprint planning, and keeping a work log of all of my weekly issues. And I've been using Notion for beyond software development. I even keep track of my clients for my site photography business, and even to manage my YouTube videos that I've been planning out. So the next tool that I've been using is Figma. Figma is a powerful design tool that allows me to create and collaborate on user interface and other design assets. I appreciate the ability to work with my team in real time and collaborate on things like design systems, prototyping, and creating mockups. Figma has really accelerated my workflow as a full stack engineer since you have to work pretty quickly sometimes. And Figma has been more than just web design for me, I even use it to manage all of my YouTube content from things like thumbnails, graphics, to captions and titles, and so much more really. I would encourage anyone to pick up on Figma, even if you're not working with web development. It's really an all-in-one tool for anything design related. The bonus tool I'm going to throw in is the Arc Browser. Arc is a new browser which looks to improve and restructure the way browsers are laid out. I feel like the Arc browser gives me the clean feel of Safari with the power features of Chrome like extensions and Chrome developer tools which I always have open when I'm doing web development. Arc also has a pretty neat onboarding which leaves you with a cool custom sticker at the end. But it's still in development and I don't think it's publicly available yet. Here's a code if you want to try it out. Last but not least, I want to mention Excalibur, which is an open source web-based tool that allows you to create diagrams and other visual assets quickly and easily. 
I used it a lot back when I was on the Leak Code grind as a whiteboarding tool to help sketch out and solve data structure and algorithm problems. So there you have it. Those were just a few of my favorite and kind of general tools that helped me as a software developer. Whether you're an experienced developer or just starting out, there's always cool new things to learn. Oh, and let me know down in the comments if you have any other tools you'd recommend for me to try out. So around this time of the year, we do go watch our siblings play high school soccer. But today actually may be the very last time my brother plays at home because he's a senior, he's graduating. Um, so we'll see how they do. See you over there. <laughs> 